my um I have my um brows done and I put on my um my moisturizer and all that. So now my sister and everyone was in love with my makeup yesterday. It's a little my makeup um yesterday, so I was like I'm like okay, I'll just show everybody what I did and I explained it. But you know when you um say things, it's um different verses like when you actually show it. So I'm gonna show it. So I decided to mix the Revolution Bright Light Face Glow in Radiant. Radiance Tan, which is such a weird name. It should have been Radiant Tan instead of Radiance Tan. And then I also am going in with the She Glam Foundation Balm, and this is in Cappuccino. This is my ultimate favorite, and it is the fall time, so you need something that is a little more moisturizing. I was originally going to wear this. This is the She Glam um, Complexion Pro Long Last and Breathable Matte Foundation in Cappuccino. I was going to wear this, but then... I decided um, not to do that. I want to show y'all how I mix. So I mean, my, my vlogs aren't going to be all about just like the vloggy vlogs. I mean, I'm going to, I'll do some makeup tips and tricks here and there as well. So you know my usual, anytime I do the glow stick, I'm gonna do my number 11 on both sides. And if you see my previous vlog, you'll see how it matches my skin exact. And then, this brush, I know it's so gross now, but this brush is so amazing. This is a She Glam Foundation Balm brush. Oh my goodness, it is so good. And it actually picks up a lot and it blends beautifully. So I'm going to take one scoop of cappuccino. And this, this usually is very light in the fall time. And so I'm going to just blend it out. And I'm going to use this as a guide. So I just... I should go like this. Like, look how smooth that is. Sometimes I'll bring it over to the other side. I'm trying to go as close to my um, under eye as possible to kind of blend it out. Okay. So see how seamless that is? I mean, it pretty much matches my um, skin tone and this brush is very soft. I could do whatever I want with this brush and I don't feel like my face is tugging. They say a seamless, um, they say that it's seamless and I'm like, you can't see the brush strokes, but that's not true. You can still see the brush strokes, maybe like the first couple days, but sometimes you gotta pat it out and then go from um, there, especially on my right side. And there are some parts on my left side, left side too that you can see. And this is only with like one swipe. And I know on She Glam's website, they did say that the one swipe does make a difference. And that is true. You only need one swipe of this and you are A-OK -okay with the product. I know yesterday I wore the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation in Cinnamon. So I'm, I won't use that um, for all over here. I'm going to use a few. I'm going to use a few concealers. So I'm going to first go in with the NYX Naked Quickie um, Concealer in excuse me, in 50 WO. So I'm gonna do that for my eyes because I will be doing liquid eyeshadow again today. Okay, I was gonna do like um, a few because I like to um, cover up the sides, but my sides are pretty covered. I'm gonna also go in with this uh, um, sheet, with this She Glam Concealer. And this is in the shade um, Barley Sugar. And that's going to go under my eyes. Let me see, do I have like a little brush for my, I do not have a little brush for my liquid eyeshadow, that is bad. I need to grab me a little brush. I'm take my Laura Mercier satin powder, and this is in translucent honey. This is the um, same old one before the new one, because I had the new one, the, the formula is no longer great. So now this one is um, pretty um, big. But I usually do like a couple strokes up top. So um, this morning, I um, woke up, I'll just talk to y'all as I'm doing this, but this morning I woke up and my throat was still like, so I had to, um, so I just had to um, do urgent care um, through the, I would say through um, Zoom, even though it's not through Zoom, it's like an online virtual thing that, that they have you fill out. So I, I was doing that and then I was talking, I was explaining everything to the doctor about the symptoms and everything that I was I'm feeling. So I have medicine to um take for it because i know um last week i was down bad like i was like i had the body aches and my um i was like really um sore but then when i took nyquil i was better within three days and then i'm back to being sick 
all over again but it was this one medicine that i took that was um like over the summer because i was still sick and i think and on that medicine it says that you can um it will weaken your immune system so i'm hoping that's not what's happening to me despite all the vitamins i'm taking despite all that i'm doing to keep myself healthy so i hope it's not um so i hope that's not what it is but girl i like the first thing is it's not fully um free i'm gonna now put on the Too faced melted chocolate matte eyeshadow and chocolate chai so it's not fully free i'll tell you that from now like yeah i have my insurance already embedded in there because i've gone to the urgent care before but then I had to pay $120 for the online visit. It's a good thing this card is empty for me to even accomplish that. But it's like, what if there's people that can't afford $120? What if there's um, people that there's like, you know, they, this, I guess this is um, ridiculous that for urgent care, you're having people pay 100, having people pay $120 for a care that's supposed to be um, urgent. And I was trying to beat the in-person because I've gone in-person and I waited there for almost an entire hour. And so I told myself I wasn't going to do it anymore. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this virtual um, visit. And so while I was doing a virtual visit, I uploaded my um, video, which is already up by now. And, and I was just there sipping my orange juice. I was there editing a previous episode. And then I like, it was like nine people before me that I was um, waiting. Nine people. So I was waiting with those nine people. And so something told me to refresh the page. And it's a good thing I refreshed the page. Because then it, was, it told me it was two people um before me that I was going after. So I was there. I'm um, just waiting on that. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. I was just doing my own thing. And then finally, I got in. And the lady was um, really nice. But I covered my um, head because I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I'll fix my hair um later. But like, it was like a whole um waiting game. It was just like... I don't, I was so annoyed. Like I was trying to beat the wait time in the office, but I guess it's not bad compared to waiting in person. Right now I'm going in with the Perfection Cosmetics, um, I Heart Boba. Um, this is like this liquid eyeshadow set. Yeah, matte liquid shadow set and caramel swirl. But I'm gonna take this side and I'm going to do like a semi cut crease with it. Look how chunky it is. This is purely disgusting. Ooh, that color is so damn pretty. I just gotta take off all this excess and then see if I can um, blend it out evenly. I just had like a little rant about urgent care that it's not really urgent because they should urgently help you. You're there having to wait. Like I'm not down for that. I'm just getting ready because I am going to a restaurant. Wait, I'm going to a restaurant and it's like an all Mexican restaurant and it's going to be lots of fun. It's everyone's first time I'm trying it. I like this shadow. This is nice. But it's everyone's first time I'm trying it and and I'm we're just gonna have a lot of Mexican food. I already know what I want. I mean what I normally do, it's a couple things that I do ahead of time. And I apologize if you can't see me do it, but you already see me do it on my right eye. But first thing I like to do is look up their menu. To see what food they have because then that gets me prepared for what it is that i want to have instead of me having to like go through the menu right there and then because people are very impatient and people get annoyed with people like myself that are that are not prepared so you want to be prepared ahead of time with what you want and then two outfits you always want to wear a comfy outfit oh this is actually very bright i'm gonna have to dull this down outfits you want to wear like a comfy roomy outfit and I'll show you my outfit in a little bit as to what I'm um, wearing. I don't know about the shirt, but even though I tuck this in because I am doing my makeup. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Again, it still is very bright, but I'm going to see if I can actually put on some of this liquid shadow and then dull it that way. But you always want to wear like a comfy um, outfit, whether it's like a dress or like a loose jeans or loose pants because you're gonna want to eat and if you're wearing things that are um tight fitting then you're not gonna want to eat that is what i've experienced in my previous years of me going out like i never want to eat if i'm wearing something that's pretty if i'm wearing um something 
that is way too tight and it's not roomy enough. I don't end up eating even though I don't end up eating regardless, but you never know what I'm gonna wanna eat off my food, you know? You know, I did have some cereal earlier, or granola, and I had some, um, some orange juice, so I should be okay. Yeah, this looks actually much better. It's a little more calm versus this, even though it still's like loud, but I can't help it. Oh yeah, an update on my lashes. So they did stay on and I did apply the overnighter over this part instead of under here because it looks so nasty right there. And this one lash came off. So this one, I, I'm at point where I'm like, again, I don't care. I mean, imperfection is imperfection. This one is still on. So this eye looks really good. And then my right eye is like, eh. It's always just my left eye that looks pretty good. I don't know, like something's wrong with that picture. Like, I don't know. Something, something's not right with that. Like, why is it that my left eye looks good, but then the right eye wanna cut up? I know you see the technique. This is my first time trying this technique ever with liquid eyeshadow, where I'm just going in and I'm just making that ombre effect. Cause it was just extremely loud. Like, like girl, why are you loud for no reason? Why are you loud? Yeah, this looks really good. And this is pure um, liquid eyeshadow. So now I'm just gonna set the rest of my um, face and I'm gonna come back at you with um, the lip um, combo. And I'm with my hair done, of course, cause what would I, what would I have without my hair done? All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of my, there we go. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of my, of some of the things I put. So underneath my eyes, I did that pixie liner and black cocoa and I thought it was way too heavy. It still looks heavy, but anyway, I decided to go on with the Juvia's Place, the coffee shop palette and underneath here, I used this first to smudge out in here and then I use a little of this to blend it in so it can match at least this top part and then for my tear ducts I also use this but I end up using this shade that's why it's so beautiful for my um cheeks I had um hit you with the Juvia's volume one blush um rouge and I was gonna do this one but it don't go so I went with this bottom shade instead and then over the apples on my cheeks, I went in with the CDE highlight in 02, which looks like this. Now, this is from Timu, but I'm going to see if there's any other places that have it. If not, I'm going to link. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all my Timu um, videos all together in like a separate playlist. And I'm going to link that playlist with all my Timu finds in the description, or not description, but in the cards above now it's time for my lips so now there was these um two um lip products i had bought that i had um, bought not too long ago these are the she glam 101 lipstick and liner duo and i got these both in soft chai and deep camo like something's telling me to do soft chai because i have this whole chai thing going on this is my first time opening this by the way all right so i feel like this will go because um, the, the rest of my um, face is like that. Oh, shoot. Let me see the liner. The liner is pretty dark. So that's soft chai. Let me see if it says it somewhere on here. Oh, yeah, it says it at the end. Because I can't with the... I don't like it when um, brands don't have the name. Like, I love Mojave. But then that's the only one I keep on buying on repeat. Because of that reason. They will not put mojave just off to the side let's just put it off to the side someone needs to redesign um the she glam um packaging like the lip liner packaging because i don't see nothing I, but this is deep caramel all right so i feel like this is going to be way too deep so deep caramel no more i won't be doing that i have yet to do my nails like i think tomorrow is going to be a serious self-care um day I'm gonna wash my hair also, despite that I'm, I'm making it look good. I'm going to, I, I just need to, I need that time for moi. Which, speaking of hair, before I did do my lip products, influencer hit me up and was like, hey, yo. Well, they didn't say it like that, but they have the OGX hair products. And um, there was like over 3,000 participants that can join. And there's all these hair products. I got, There's a shampoo, there's conditioner, and then there is the oil that goes with it. It's like this coconut milk for um, damaged hair. 
and so i went in and i was shocked that this was not sold out and i, I shouldn't say sold out because you don't buy anything on influencer but you can just put into that campaign and you'd automatically be into the campaign they just gotta ship out the things and then you're good to go i was shocked that i didn't see anybody i mean anybody do a review or want to do a review on it i'm surprised like i really am but i put in and i have my spot in there i'm not sure if anybody else is just catching on and they're going to put in but when i went in it was like over three thousand spots are available which is insane versus everything else like i remember the last time um they wanted me to do a review on this cold sore cream which your girl don't have no cold sore but they wanted me to do a review on there and and i and before i even i'm like clicked out of it that everybody was um hopping on that it's like are you serious right now like so you'd hop on cold sore cream but you're not gonna hop on shampoo conditioner and oil for your hair i don't get it but enough of my um rant i'm gonna first try the liner on my lips and then i'm gonna tell you oh okay this seems very sheer oh my gosh oh my gosh Ho hopefully it's not the same hopefully it's not the same damn color as the lipstick no no uh-uh no mm -mm. this is ashington street no no i'm no 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 way jose there was a reason why i took out the mojave that's what i'm doing no that color theory really is true oh no mm -mm. this this is a hot mess this is embarrassing uh -uh. okay i'll tell you a little about ogx though i found out about ogx when i don't know i mean if a lot of older youtubers are on here or if, a lot, if i have a lot of older viewers but jackie dollhouse i remember i used to watch her i'm um, growing up and she was one of the first hair youtubers like she had her own hair salon in new york city she was the first one to ever do hauls that was who i saw first do a review or reviews overall on ogx and since then we use i used to buy it but then we found other hair products so we kind of did away with that same thing with Shea Moisture too. We we, we were using it and then we found other hair products. We did away with that. And then now, now I'm out hopping back on she, she glam. Now I'm hopping on to Shea Butter or Shea Moisture, excuse me. And I think the same thing is going to happen with OGX. But I have to try this out first just to see before I say I want to completely move. Because Shea Moisture does me really well. The anti dandruff shampoo and conditioner. I don't do the pre-treatment because it gives me bumps on my forehead. But the shampoo and conditioner does me really well. It's my hair is easily manageable when wet. And if this lipstick don't work out, I'm gonna do another alternative. Okay, so I just wiped that off. I'm gonna go in with the She Glam liner in Mojave. This is my true favorite. And it's 309. And I know we're gonna leave a little earlier. This is more like it. I'm nervous now for the lipstick part. Why I thought I would be like, okay, let me bring this out. Girl, this is Asherton Street. It's ashy. Okay. Hmm. So this lip color is bomb. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like this color is so pretty and soft chai. No, this lip color is bomb. So I'm gonna tell y'all from now, like if you're someone like myself, I would not recommend that you go in with the lip liner because the lip liner is gonna have you turned off all the way and they have you look like you on Ashington Street. We don't want to do that. Soft, like the lipstick itself, amazing. Like, this is the vibe that I want to begin with. I swore, like, I don't know why a lot of brands do this, where they have to match the lip liner with the lipstick. Not everybody is doing that anymore. Not everybody's doing it anymore. So you gotta give it a program, She Glam. This should have been darker than this, but then I, I feel like it might have been like, some people may be like, oh, I don't want it too dark, da 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 Because in the world, there's people that don't complain, and then there are people that complain about every little thing, even if it's an easy fix. I'll say that with, with everything, this is on par. Don't use the liner, but use the lipstick. So I will bring this with me, because it is compatible with the purse that I'm going to bring, which I'm just going to show y'all the rest of my outfit. And so I'm taking y'all down a whole notch. So this shirt is from JCPenney or this sweater, but it looked like a shirt because it's damn thin. These leather pants are from Forever 21. I wore this last year for um, New Year's. 
and then these earrings i got these dragon earrings i might change it but i may not change it because it goes with the bag that i want to bring and i'll just show you um the bag let me turn off this light this is the bag that i bring i plan on bringing this is a like part of my purse collection right here i was gonna bring this one because i see time to infamous she's always bringing this let me turn on the turn light there we go now there's some room i should put my i should have um had my ring light i was gonna bring this because I see time to infamous, she brings hers around. That's one. And then two, now thinking about it, I don't like the combination of red and brown. To me, that just looks weird. So I'm gonna go in with this green bag, if I can get it. Yes, and I can get it. So I'm gonna bring this green bag. I think this is gonna be very cute. And this goes with the outfit. Yep, it, it's given, it goes. I think I wanna do some pumps, but again, I'm not sure. I wish. I had like a brown sling bag. I wish I had that, but then after we go out to eat, we're gonna be doing other things too. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna wear anything too dress up, dress up, and then I can't walk anymore. <laughs> you feel me? So I need something else that's gonna, that's gonna have me elevate, but then I can still walk. So I'm going to look for the appropriate shoes, and then. I should head out. It is 3.15 according to my clock, but it's really is 3.14. So I need to take my behind on and let's go. This coat, Shein, and then, oh, sorry. These shoes are from 421. I probably have a chance to wear these um, shoes. But yeah, don't say nothing because my phone was dying. So I had to have the power back on me. I got my eyes on the prize. All right, so we just moved over to Burlington and I got, I'm gonna get this faux fur three piece comforter set for $39.99. Okay, so I just finished on um, my um food um, that is the Pollo Hawaiiano. It was really good. I mean, I love, I didn't realize how much I love the rice or cheese on rice. I really like it. You know, I really, um I like it a whole lot. I feel like it was really good. I was kind of full and I'm like, I was anticipating on this caramel churro. My sister tried um, half of it and she did not, she wasn't fond of it. So. so good okay so the other the other um churros i just decided to um save it because that was that was a lot of food one and two i finished my other food so i was really full i don't i don't know i'm gonna start fresh with um the medication i'm supposed to do starting tomorrow because then um that would be like the 10 day um window i'm too full to like um drinking water or do anything so influencer um sent me the um valentino thing and i'm gonna show you Yeah, this is a true sample size for sure. I didn't know it was sample size, but again, it's something. This is the Valentino Liquid Rosso Lip and Blush Blur Liquid Matte Color Lasting. Okay, this is Lip and Blush Blur Liquid Matte Color. And this is in the shade 1118 Undressed Velvet. So pretty much it's like a red shade that they want for us to try. We give a review and we see how it goes. So the more um you do things like these, like the more chances you would get as an influencer to participate in more campaigns. I still need to do the one for Urban Decay and Cyber Smile. Still need to do that one because they put me in that one for a second time around. And sometimes with influencers, they'll send you a little card too. This is explaining like what it is and then on like a pro tip on these things it's pretty cool but i was kind of disappointed i was just like dang i mean i thought it would be like the full size this is like one of my first first times getting a non-full size um thing my hand is like i'm tired i want to change my carpet i'm getting tired of the carpet that i currently have 
because it is pink so <laughs> there goes the light and so i have found this gray and i found this on well not me my mom actually found this gray and white um carpet and this is she this is for 29.99 and this is like a 48 by 66 which i'm gonna take a picture of that for the future so in case anything and i want to buy more carpets i have the size but this is the pattern it's mostly gray with the white that's what i like i want more grays in the room and not too much pink so i want to kind of tone it down because my headboard is gray i turned that one from like a base to gray through a diy project and so i want to do the same thing with the carpet but i'm not going to dye the carpet i just bought a new one i think i might if anything like swiffer vacuum and swiffer the floor before i even put on this carpet because i just want fresh i just want things to be fresh and clean i also have laundry that i need to fold out as well and then i still need to get to my teacher things i want to start making like an original copy at home so that way the only thing i have to do when i go to the school is just make the 45 copies for all of fifth grade and then i'll be good to go but i'm just going to close it out um right here my makeup pretty much served but again i only wore this makeup for like five hours at most but thank you so much for watching this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more of also, do not forget to click on the notification bell so that way you are on the alert as to when my videos are out. For my vlogs, I'm, I'm going to do every Friday. I, well, I don't say every Friday because then you guys are going to expect that from me. But I want to do Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern time just to keep it like actual show. And then any other videos, I'll let you know again through Instagram broadcasts or through um or through um, YouTube posts. So again, be on the lookout on those two um, things. And I'm gonna start to incorporate TikTok stories because I have a lot of engagement over there as well. So uh, yeah, bye-bye.